All right, bit of a later video today. Um, before I headed in and uh, started my morning routine, sorry, my, my evening routine, I just wanted to talk about um, a concept in this book that I just finished reading, because I read every day for at least like a couple hours, right? <clears throat> just like any human being with basic literary skills should be doing. Yeah, I, I finished this book called um, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. Pretty crazy book, pretty pretty out there, but I think I think it held a lot of truth. I mean, otherwise, otherwise, why would I bother reading it, right? Why would I bother making a video about it? So, one of one of the concepts that uh, Mr. Napoleon Hill talks about in his book is um is this concept called drifting, right? Uh, his book, just to give some context, his book, Outwitting the Devil kind of goes over this um, interview that he holds with the devil uh, after he manages to like trap the devil in some way I suppose it kind of just like forests um, the truth out of the devil right he kind of forces the, the devil to uh, tell the truth about how and uh, why people achieve failure in life about how they end up achieving nothing but just, you know, just being completely unfulfilled and doing nothing with their life. Because according to Napoleon Hill's theory, the devil, the devil is like not, not necessarily the uh, contemporary Christian devil with like the horns and the tail and like the pitchfork, but he's this um, special kind of metaphysical entity who is responsible for all of the pain and all of the failure and all of the. Um, all the ignorance in uh, in the world and all the fear especially fear is what is what the devil's all about according to Mr. Hill but people who follow the devil basically people who fall prey to uh, the devil and his schemes are called drifters now what do drifters do well basically they drift as as the name implies they drift through life without any kind of definite purpose and um I wanted to, I want to talk about that concept of drifting in this video because I see so many people, you know, at school, um, on the workplace, online, just doing absolutely nothing with their lives on social media, just posting about how they do absolutely nothing with their lives, and they seem kind of proud of it. And I think that's terrible. I think it's, well, M Mr. Hill thinks that it's an absolute sin. To just be unfulfilled and do nothing with your life and I completely agree right to not live up to your full potential to not pursue your own happiness and what you want to not get your full uh, not to get your full lot out of life so yeah like I was saying these these drifters they're they're kind of a product of uh, today's society you know uh, you know Napoleon Hill wrote the the manuscript for outweighing the devil like 90 years ago, but his predictions and his diagnoses about what's wrong with the world still remain true, right? Because what he says is that our schools, our parents, and our religious instructors encourage us, they entice us to be fearful from a young age. They discourage our creativity. They discourage our free will and, you know, our ability to think for ourselves, which is ultimately uh, humanity's greatest gift is the ability to think for yourself and to uh, pursue your desires in life and to plan for that, right? And drifters do none of that. They, they you know, they're, they're the kind of people who are born into a nice family, but their parents, you know, finish their sentences for them. They have helicopter parents. They have parents that don't let them explore. They have parents that instill fear in them because of, you know, the unknown, stranger danger, that kind of stuff. They make their children afraid. And they go to school and their teachers instill fear in them by, you know, not teaching them how to be responsible with themselves, but rather just teaching them all of these facts, just teaching them how to use and recycle other people's thinking instead of just think for themselves. And they might have religious instructors as well, you know, pastors, priests, uh, just like religious officials who are instructing them from when they are even small children just to 
to be afraid, to be afraid of the devil, to be constantly in fear of going to hell, which I mean, that's, that's something I've struggled with a bit. I'll, I might talk about that in um, a different video, but yeah, that's, that's a big issue with today's society and what, what it entices these uh, children to do is just become fearful and to stop thinking for themselves and they become teenagers and you know they just they just want to fit in they just want to go with the group you know they it's weird because I'm I'm still a teenager you know I I still go to go to high school I'm still surrounded by all these drifting people and like it's it's just so weird I don't I don't understand them I don't understand how they do absolutely nothing with their lives how they're not seeking to improve themselves every day how they have no ambition no no drive to uh, set themselves apart from the group and just kind of do something meaningful do something really great with themselves it's just so frustrating of why they're not doing that but hey what what the book says what mr hill says is that you can't really change those people you just have to work on yourself and that's all you can really do and maybe they'll maybe they'll learn from your example because you can't really entice a drifter not to drift right and you know as as these drifters get older they get out of high school they take whatever easy career they, they can get that's just going to give them a living that's just going to give them enough money so that they can eat and whatever you know maybe they fall into some kind of shallow love and get married and get stuck in some job where they have a wife and kids to take care of now even though they're just terrible at relationships let's face it like the average person is because they're not educating themselves and they're not bothering to uh, think for themselves but yeah that's that's a different issue and they just keep going through life right they just stay in the same position they don't try and get better they get fat they get lazy they get lazier they get fatter than they ever were before and their life is just kind of a downward spiral until one day you know uh, the tank just bottoms out and they die Right? Because either they see no more point in living or some kind of some kind of dis some kind of disease that some kind of disease comes along that just claims them. Uh you know, part of part of not having the will to live can uh, can manifest itself not only in just suicide, but in just letting yourself go and just being willing to die and saying, Okay, I got I got nothing left to do in this world. I guess I'll just peace out. I guess I'll just die now. Right? That's terrible. That that whole lifestyle is just one of fear and sin at at the end of the day. So yeah, that's that's kind of what drifting is um is all about. And so it's so much more prevalent in today's society and I think it even was in the 30s because we have all this high dopamine, you know, social media content. We have TikTok now. We have this app, we have multiple apps where you can just scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and just get like a new video with every with every swipe, every just like a high dopamine video of some attractive person talking about something or just hitting some goofy dance and like that's what people fill hours of their day with from like multiple demographics. It's just it's not just teenagers who are using Instagram reels and uh, TikTok and YouTube shorts and all that. It's everyone. They got everyone hooked. Everyone who, who, who you know is kind of is kind of with the times. And if it's not that, it's Netflix or it's junk food or it's pornography or it's video games or maybe it's a mix of all of those things. And, you know, it, it's really hard to not be a drifter in today's society. And because of that fact, you have to educate yourself. The fact that it's so hard to be an extraordinary um, and ambitious person in today's society um, gives all the more enticement to uh, work on yourself. To really just put in the hard work to educate yourself, to get stronger, to get smarter, to get faster every single day. Every single day. Nobody's doing that. And while that's very unsettling, I mean, I mean, uh, on the upside, it's never been easier to uh, 
be better than 98% of all people because that's what Napoleon Hill says in, uh, in, in the book again is that 98% of all people are drifters. Two out of every 98 people are not drifters, right? Two out of every 98 people has a definite uh, purpose and desire in life and has a definite plan backed by uh, faith that they are going to to carry out and are carrying out by a definite action and while it's depressing that that number is so low I mean hey it's it's never been uh, it's never been easier to uh, get past all these suckers you know what I'm saying that might be a little that might be a little insensitive but hey it's true it's it's not hard to be you know uh, the fastest kid the smartest kid in your class anymore compared to how it was, I don't know, 300 years ago when people had proper parenting and lived like people were actually supposed to do. So yeah, those are those are just my initial thoughts on uh, the concept as, of drifting as, distra- as described in the book uh, Winning the Devil by Napoleon Hill. So yeah, more content like this coming soon and uh, I'll probably talk about that book a little bit more. See ya.